I are here with Diamond Brazier for a uh, big first World Indoor Championships. Uh, what are you excited about most? Excited to race fast. I came really close to that American record the past um, three meets, going from New York to Boston to USA's, and I've been coming off PRs each and every time. So I'm excited again. This will be the steepest competition of the year. So I'm excited to see what kind of times I can drop in, potentially get a medal and bring home home for the US. Asked you in the press conference, we'll take the beat manual. You're racing the mill rows, you've seen what he can do. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any strategy you're approaching from racing him? Or? Uh, not too much strategy. The more talented I get, the more like physically fit I feel, you know, the more confident I'm going to the race. And I gotta let's worry about strategics. Cause you know, when you when you're there like physically and just mentally, then you really don't need to think about strategy. Like whatever the race does, like you don't really have to think about it too much. Like you already play like what's gonna happen like a thousand times through your head. So I'm just like thinking of all different types of scenarios. If I take it out fast, if I take it out slow, and I think I see myself coming out good on like every end of those. You mentioned earlier about Sean, you know, knowing that he's been running, he's been winning, but he hasn't been running that fast. But, like when it comes to your competition, how do you study them? Do you watch video of races? Do you read up on them? How do you prepare to face them? Um, I don't dig too much into them, especially because like these guys have been running for a long time, and I know they have a lot more accolades than I do. Cause I'm only 20 years old, and I'm racing guys are like 28 and stuff like that um, so I try not to like read too much into it because they you know, can almost make you intimidated I'm just worried about winning rather than focusing on losing and stuff like that you know so it's just more it's more focusing on myself than other athletes do you think that though seeing that you and Korea are the ones that have run fastest times this season that if you make it honest that that's a certainly top two finish yeah of course and, um, Career and I we he's went 144 too and if you're gonna loop me in with him you can group Drew Wendell in with me too he's won 145 Five, and that's coming off a slower pace at uh, Melrose game, so this is going to be a guy to look after too for U.S. So hopefully we can get a couple medals home. Are you going to maybe talk to Korea? Like, because I know it's, it's probably mutually beneficial to have it go fast for both of you guys. In the yeah. Final. And obviously making it to the final is going to be a challenge in itself. But are you going to talk to him like, hey, you know, do you want to try to pick us up? Uh, no, I'm not going to try to put anything in his head, and I hope he doesn't do the same to me. You know, we're just going to go out there and race, and whatever happens, happens. Do you know what the pre is it going to be three sections or two sections? I don't know. Actually, now that I think about it, I feel like the heat should be coming out right about now. So I'm going to check those out and listen. Study it a little bit, like you said, but not really dig too much into it. Just kind of focus on getting my automatic into the final and just worry about it then. Yeah, because I was trying to th I think there's like 15 guys, and you could do like three heats of five, but then you could maybe also do two heats of like, I think it's 14 guys, like maybe two heats of seven. So it's a what seven. Would you, would you prefer, which would you prefer? I prefer three heats, actually. Um, you can make it more honest with them. I don't know, actually. I'm thinking about that more now. Maybe two heats would be better, but then two heats would be more crammed. But then that could also work my favorite two, especially if it's a fast pace race, because if it's crammed, the guy's in the back. I, I don't know. I don't know which one I prefer. Whatever happens, happens. Because, because you like front running, do you try to approach a prelim where you try to run as little energy as possible? Are you thinking about that energy conservation? Um, yeah, but that's hurt me sometimes too when I think about trying to conserve energy like I did at Outdoor Worlds outdoor world last year. I kind of went out and I saw Korea going to make finals and I saw like a lot of like these elite athletes weren't making finals. I was like, all right, if I can just save some energy and make it. But at a competition like this, you can't conserve too much. You know, these are the best guys in the world. So you kind of got to give it your all even during the prelims. And if that sacrifice taking a little bit out of the final, then that's what has to happen. So right now you would you would be like a junior in the NCAA system if you still competing. Do you, and it's, you know, the College Station hosted last year, you hosted a and hosting again this year. Do you ever, like, do you miss it? Do you ever think, like, oh man, I've been really, you know, kicking ass? And yeah, so I miss it all the time, especially when I'm seeing SECs. SECs are 149 one. A 149 shouldn't And it was my own guy that won it, so I can give him crap about it. But a 149 one SECs, and that's really not what the SECs is what happened when I was there freshman year. You know, I took a 147 to make finals, and a 149 won it this year. So, yes, I miss it sometimes, but, you know, I know those guys, um, like Devin's kind of carrying on the AM legacy at 800 meters, and Jasmine and Sam, we got down there. So, we got a good group down there, but I definitely miss it sometimes. I wanted to be a volunteer coach and start to be around the guys, but I just know it's not beneficial to my training to be traveling like that every weekend with the team. But I definitely do miss it, but. It's, it's definitely nice to be with Nike and right now. Well, what's the plan after, I guess, what's your, were you peaking for this moment? Like, how, how'd you approach your 2018 season? Um, yeah, just peaking for the indoor season, but you know, I came off World Outdoors last year. I didn't start training until October, so that gives um, October, November, December. So I'm about four and a half months, five months into training, so. I'm definitely picking more towards outdoors and trying to win as many Diamond League races as I can and getting as many as I can and throw up the points like the final because that's what this year is kind of more about. So I'm definitely was kind of going more towards indoor a little harder this year, but definitely not trying to peak indoor season. Good luck. Appreciate it. Thank you guys.